I have six valuable advice from world-known coach Julio Velasco for you. They will help you become a better player and coach. Let's take a look at them. Hi, I'm Jerry Popelka, Volley Country founder. If you are here for the first time, you can find volleyball advice, tips and exercises on our YouTube channel. They come from my own experience or from the best volleyball coaches in the world. Follow our channel and don't miss any tips or exercise for you. Click the subscribe button. You know that volleyball isn't easy sport. It takes time to learn volleyball. We play in teams. Every ball touch is important, and sometimes one mistake can decide the result of the match. One player can't win the game. Teams are winning. We need to focus on many things in our practice, in our game, study our opponent, and so on. I could speak about everything related to player and team performance for a long time, but let's stay with the topic. When we think about volleyball, we should think in a bigger picture, not only about uh, practicing with balls, hitting hard, our strategy, but also about our individual mental preparation and about our abilities. In this video, I have for you great advice from one of the best volleyball coaches in the world. These advice are not only for players, but, but also for coaches. Maybe some of you don't know who Julio Velasco is. I present him in the short. Julio Velasco won world championships with Italy twice, uh, the World League four times and he has got the silver medal from the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games. We could say that uh, under his leadership Italy ruled the world volleyball in the 90s. Recently he improved volleyball in Iran and Iran became one of the strongest teams in the world. And now he runs successfully the Yacht Volleyball in Italy. I know Julio and his coaching philosophy. He was coach of the Czech national team for one year back in 2002 when we participated at the 2002 World Championships in Argentina. He was a tough coach, I trained and played with him as an opposite and he didn't give us anything for free. He brought uh, professionalism into our national team in every way. Uh, he took everything uh, completely seriously. His motto could be play 100% uh, volleyball. He even led the warm-up as a head coach and showed every exercise which I didn't see at any other head coach. Let's look at his six basic individual abilities leading to mastership. Not all games go in the way we wish them to. If the opponent is outplaying me, it's necessary to change my game, to adapt. We need to develop our ability to change uh, because we will need to change our game many times in our volleyball life. Volleyball is a complex sport, uh, not only technique but also strength decides. Mindset uh, that I can always improve in any volleyball skill or other element is important. We can learn from any games and any situation on the court. It applies both to young and older players. Uh, there is no age limit. It depends only on our mindset. Volleyball is a difficult technical sport. You know that a moment when it's not going well comes. Uh, you'll experience a lot of uh, such moments. However, even though you aren't performing as well as you would like to, you have to sustain. The better performance or results will eventually come. No game is lost. I repeat, no game is lost. For sure, you have seen or experienced games uh, that might have uh, already seemed lost. Don't forget that only the last point in a set or tiebreak uh, means a loss. Until that, nothing has been lost. So never, never give up until the last point. It's a similar rule to the previous one. Many balls will appear as a loss, uh, but many times this decision is made in our head even without trying to take or move to the ball. You'll say to yourself, ah, I can't take this, uh, it's impossible, we won't win this rally. Julio Velasco doesn't agree with this approach. He knows that you can take any ball. If I think that I can work 50% in training and then I'll play when in the game, it doesn't work this way. For example, Julio immediately recognized when I was lazy to die for a ball in a training and in a moment he was throwing balls to me and I was wiping the floor. That's why it's important to produce quality both in trainings and games. Uh, player must remember it. Uh, it's not main job of coach to observe all players and point out on player which is not giving 100% in training and punishing. 
Players should always keep in mind to produce quality no matter what part of training it is. Otherwise his or her game and skills will not develop the way they want. These advice are very important if you want to improve your game or one day become volleyball star. These individual abilities will lead you to the mastership. There isn't many respected volleyball coaches as Julio Velasco. Learn from his advice too and become better player and coach. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.